What is happening, everybody on YouTube? Steve again with Rake and Profit coming back to you with another live Google Hangout video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about making money with sports coats. And uh, as you saw by the title, I think I put how to pay your car payment every month selling sport coats. And I tell you right now from firsthand experience that when dealing with these types of items, sport coats or even blazers or suits, the profit potential can be really, really unbelievable, and it could definitely help you, uh, you know, to pay the bills, especially your car payment. If it's if it's like an average car payment, one to four hundred dollars, then uh, you know, selling these items what can is definitely happen. In everybody on YouTube, Steve again. <laughs> Sorry about that, but what I was saying is, if you're selling these types of items, you know, the profit potential really is there, and you could definitely pay your bills. So uh, I wanted to make somewhat of a creative title. Uh, to get you guys to watch this video because we're going to be talking about a lot of information today that pertains to sport coats specifically and we're going to be going through some sold listings on eBay we're going to be talking about you know some brands that are selling and there's a few brands in there that uh, I've never even heard of and brands that I never sold before but they do sell I'll be showing you firsthand the sold listings and uh, we'll just be having a little bit of fun so uh, let's get into the video but first I want to ask you folks to Take a second to leave a comment and let me know if one you could hear me and two that uh, you could see my screen. And uh, once I start to get some comments, let me know that things are on track because I really want you guys to be able to hear me clearly and be able to see the screen so I can show you these items. Then we'll get right into it. So please leave a comment. Let me know if you could hear me and also let me know if you could see my screen. And I'm going to go into the comment section real quick and see what is happening here. Yeah, if you want to leave a comment, you want me to shout you out or say hello or uh, post your Facebook page or YouTube channel, just leave it in the comments. I'll shout you out. If you got a question, just ask it below. You could also go into the Google uh, section and go to the Q&A uh, part of it and ask a question through there, but underneath the YouTube channel is probably the best. So let me shout some people out and say hello. Justin Starcher, sounds good. What's going on, my man? I'm excited for you and uh, the Golden uh, the Golden Picker and Hearts Motor Company for that new uh, show you guys go you guys got going on. That's going to be awesome. Definitely check out Justin Starcher. He's been killing it with the videos. Louis the Seller in the house again, man. I'm glad to see you here. Louis says I'm here and perfect timing. There's no Judge Judy on right now. Judge Judy, she's the real deal. Oh my gosh, I would hate to be in court dealing with Judge Judy because it seems like you can never win any type of argument. But uh, we got Ann Vic in the house. I will be buying Blazing Profits tonight. Yep, and uh, I appreciate that. If you guys aren't sure uh, or you don't know what Blazing Profits is, it's actually a, uh, a new program that I just came out with. It was just released, I think, two days ago. And it's pretty much a uh, program that goes in into great deal of detail in terms of buying and selling blazers, sports coats, and suits on eBay. And just to give you a quick overview, since somebody mentioned it, it's not only a book, but it's actually a whole program. First of all, it's a 274-page ebook that covers just tons of different things. You can look at this page uh, after, just click on the link in the comments, and you can go through. I don't want to waste too much of your uh, if, if your folks' valuable time, but it's a 274-page book. 14 bonus training videos, a cheat sheet of 99 brands to buy and sell in terms of blazer, sports coats, and suits, bonus templates, four bonus interviews with clothing experts, people that you know, people that are buying and selling items and clothing items specifically on a daily basis and making a full-time living and additional resources. So like I said, I don't waste too much time talking about my program. If you guys are interested, check it out. If not, that's cool. But um, I really want to go through some of these brands that have sold. Let me shout a few more people out and we'll get into it. Let's see. Michael Bomberger, what's going on here? You're loud and clear. Hey, glad to have you in here, man. It was fun uh, hanging out with you in the, uh, I think it was the thrifting lounge the other day, right? That was awesome. You're a good guy. Uh, secondhand profit coach, you are heard, my man. I am glad, coach. Put me in, coach. Kyle Kenyon, where'd you go? Sounds good. Thanks for watching. And Vic says audio and video sounds good. Nelly Chess. Looks and sounds good. Lola Gordon, all good. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, me and Nelly were talking before. I guess uh, they said, I'm in the Poconos teaching tennis and reselling on the side. I'm trying to earn enough to head back to Texas and hit it hard full time. And uh, I said, I'm actually, I played some tennis today. 
Um, let's see. College Picker plays tennis too. I heard him say, "Yeah, me and College Picker, we're going to be getting together sometime soon, and we're going to have a tennis match. So uh, maybe we'll get that on video." But in any event, I uh, just want to shout you guys out. I'll be back in the comments in a few more minutes. But uh, let's get into some of these sports coats that sold and uh, kind of talk about the brands, the uh, the selling points, how much it went for, and hopes to be able to help you to make money buying and selling sport coats on eBay. So with that being said, let's get into this live hangout. First item that sold is a brand named Caruso. And to be honest with you, I've never found this brand. I've never sold this brand. But I did notice that in the sold listings that this sold for $265. So every time I'm in the sold listings and I'm doing research and I'm unfamiliar with a brand, pretty much what I do is I jot it down. And I've already got this list uh, jotted down. Um, this brand jotted down on my list, but pretty much what I do is I jot down these brands onto a list, and then after I'm done doing the, the, the uh, initial research, I'll go back into the sold listings and uh, kind of dig a little deeper into each brand. So that's what I'll be doing after this show. But uh, Caruso was the brand, sold for $265. Off the bat, looking at, at the title, a few things that stick out is first of all, the, uh, the MSRP price, well, according to this seller, was $1,795, which is super high priced. And uh, just it just lets you know it's designer. It's something that's probably well made. Um, something that you know is is higher end. And also wool, silk, and linen. It's a tri blend uh, sport coat, which is always a really good selling point. I love selling the uh, the sport coats that are silk and linen or cashmere. I mean wool is great. I love selling wool as well. It's probably the most common material you're going to find with these types of items. But uh, like I said, the silk and the linen, it's definitely an awesome selling point. It's got the dual vent, which uh, is another um, kind of indicator that it's higher end and it's probably expensive. And just overall, it just looks like a really nice item. It looks like there was three bids on this sport coat and ended up landing $265 plus 15 to ship. Let me show you a few pictures here. Very nice item right there. Let's see if we can find a tag. Made in Italy, another excellent selling point. Doesn't look like there's a tag on it with the actual name, but you can see the name Caruso on the lining. But $265, definitely look into that brand if you're trying to get into selling sport coats and see if it has any further potential. Sometimes there's hit and misses or one-time wonders, I like to call it, with these types of items. And uh, you know, sometimes it'll sell for a crazy profit, and then you'll look at other ones within the same brand and it doesn't seem to do as well. So that's why you always have to do further research. All right, let's go into the next brand that I came across. And this is another brand that I had not heard of uh, prior to doing the research. And I'll tell you right now, folks, there's hundreds, there's thousands of brands. I don't know about thousands, but there's definitely hundreds of brands when it comes to these blazers and sport coats and suits. But we're talking sports coats. There's tons of different brands out there. It's ridiculous. There's so many people or companies that created these types of items. And uh, sometimes you just... You don't know what you have, and you got to look it up to see if there's anyone else who have sold it. But the brand is Pronti Big Men's. I'm guessing it's a big and tall type item. They have the size 3 extra large, 52 in here. So it is a big and tall sport coat. Really nice. I'm curious to see what the material was. Wow, look at that design. Look at that design. That is a beauty right there. That should be an indicator right there. If you're at the thrift store and you see something like this, that should be something that tells you I need to look more into this because it's an interesting, unique, different design, kind of like one of a kind, and that's the type of stuff that you want to focus on. Again, I did jot this brand down. I suggest you do the same thing and look into it further after this live hangout to see what other types of styles are, styles are doing well, what other type of sizes, what other designs. Does this brand sell often? What's the sell-through rate? What are the prices uh, that people are selling it for? This is all very relevant when it comes to selling these items. There's so many factors that could come into play when selling clothes, so you need to look past the brand sometimes and see what else is going on. But again, big and tall, 3 extra large, size 52, $59.99. Not a bad little sale right there. Shipping was in addition of $11.50. Here's the tag. Looks like it's a blend of polyester and nylon, 65% polyester. 35% nylon. Looks like the trim was 100% polyester made in China, which again, I really don't like buying the stuff made in China. A lot of it is junk, but then again, uh, you could still yield, yield some pretty nice profits and uh, maybe even pay part of your car payment. 
Next item that sold is the brand Pierre Cardin, and it's a really nice brown wool sport coat, size 36S, and that stands for 36 short. It is a very small size. If I was to guess right off the bat, the pit to pit was probably less than 20 inches. Let's check that out. It should be. So the chest is 38. They don't actually have the actual measurements. They just put the chest. But uh, So that would be a 19-inch uh, pit to pit. Shoulders 18 inches, waist 36, length 29. Very, very small item right here. And you can see that they actually put a little diagram in their listing of how they take their measurements. And uh, there's a few different ways you can take measurements from the front and the back. The main thing that you need to take in consideration is to relay the information to the customer. Let them know how you're taking a measurement so they can compare it the same way that you are so the measurements are kind of you know in the same uh, realm. So that's really key right there. $69.95 Pierre Cardin. This is a brand that I usually pass up but once in a while if you find it cheap enough it has a nice little design to it. Cool little style. Definitely roll the dice and see what happens. Some of these items I tell you right now some of these items don't sell that well, but then again, you'll find the exact thing that didn't sell well that sold for 60 or 70 bucks. I guarantee if you look into this brand, Pierre Cardin, you're going to notice items that aren't selling that well, maybe for 15, 20 bucks, but then again, you'll find something very similar for 60 or 70. So one of the things you got to understand when you're dealing with these types of items is sometimes it's, it's luck. Sometimes it's taking a really nice picture. It's uh, putting a lot of detail, creating a nice title and just doing those things that make a difference and separate yourself from the crowd and I'll tell you right now take a look at this seller Mad Men Suits I see them all over the place they have over 13,000 feedback they sell a lot of suits they do a terrific job and those those guys I'll tell you right now study their listings study their keywords the way they take pictures they do an excellent job and uh, they sell some really nice items so I definitely suggest checking them out they ended up getting $69.95 with free shipping and imagine picking that puppy up for four or five bucks in a thrift store maybe you ship it out for ten dollars in a flat rate medium box now you're up to fifteen you pay some fees on this you're up to say twenty four dollars and maybe you have some other fees let's just say you're up to thirty bucks altogether in the whole thing you doubled your money plus a little more for seventy. You made forty dollars profit, cha-ching, real, real quick. So, uh, you know, th that's just the reason why I love selling these items. Sometimes they take a little longer than the, the button fronts or the polo shirts or the shorts, but when they sell, they really sell and they pop hard. And uh, you know, that's what you should be looking for when you are selling clothes. Keep those profit margins up there. Now I'm going to go into the comment section again, shout some more people out, see if anyone has any questions. Let's see where am I right here and uh, see what's going on with the community and if you guys like these videos make sure to hit the like button let me know that you enjoy these types of videos let me know that you like the education and the interaction the, the kind of one-on-one -on -one time with me I'll keep doing it because I enjoy it I love it you know this is like research for me it's like killing two birds with one stones helping myself out while I'm helping you out and that's really what it's all about and uh, if you're just coming into the show I do want to let you folks know for the people who haven't been on YouTube over the last few days, I did release my uh, my new program called Blazing Profits, as you can see on the screen right here, and it's a program that teaches people how to make bla how to make money selling blazers, sports coats, and suits. So definitely check that out. Um, you know, there's a lot of good content in there. It's not 100% necessary for your success. There's always other ways to do things. You could research on your own. You could read articles. You could watch the YouTube videos. You could study up on a daily basis for weeks and weeks and really get educated. Or you could fast track your uh, success with this program. But in any event, let's see what's going on in the comments section. We got 30 people watching. That is awesome. Go to the newest comments. Deccan, that's what I like to hear. Holland Hobbies. Hey Steve, how are you doing? Everyone check out Holland Hobbies. Got some good stuff going on over there. Prime Find. Steve, do you utilize the skele skeleton? The scheduling option when listing on eBay. If so, what are the pros and cons of doing so? Thanks for the help. I've seen and liked all your videos. Thanks, Prime Fine. I appreciate that. Uh, I've never used the scheduling option because most of the time I do buy it now, so it really doesn't matter. I usually do buy it now 30 days, and uh, I usually put a best offer option. Uh, as of recently, I, I took the best offer 
option off just to experiment a little bit and see what's see what happens. I like to try new things, but um, I have been thinking about, especially after doing those exclusive interviews uh, with the Blazing Profits program. There's four exclusive interviews in there, and I interviewed some really awesome people that sell. Some people that sell a lot more than me, and what I noticed is a lot of them. A lot of the people I talk to with the exclusive interview, they do a lot of auctions, and like I said, I do primarily like 95, like 99% buy it now. And like I said in the interviews, a lot of them do the auctions, and they they really um, what's the word? They really persuaded me and kind of showed evidence based on their sales that auctions really do have a lot of benefits. And uh, one of the main benefits of auctions is getting people into your store. A lot of people, they they like checking out the auctions, especially if you started off at a lower price. So you get people into your store, and uh, you know more foot traf traffic usually leads to more sales. But uh, I'll let you guys uh, watch that exclusive video in the program. I don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't got there so far. But I am looking to... Um, Prime find I am looking to get more into auctions, so I probably would schedule my auctions for certain times. Uh, when I when I get to that point, I'll definitely update you folks and let you know. But I really haven't uh, used the scheduling too much, so I can't really answer that. Louis the seller rake, and how long do you keep clothing that never sells? Even after offering a discount, do you eventually donate it? Um, I have gotten rid of some stuff that just the just the prices that it's going to yield just isn't worth my time. Like when I first got started, I was I was buying some brands that uh, you know we're only bringing in ten or fifteen dollars, just lower end stuff. Even like uh, some Ralph Lauren polo shirts that maybe had like a stain on it, or uh, maybe even some Nike shirts that just weren't bringing in just the money that I was looking for. So I ended up donating them after like four or five months. But nowadays, I'm usually buying stuff that I know will sell eventually. And even if I could buy something for four or five bucks, and I have to wait a year to sell it for fifty or sixty, it's worth my time. Um, so I I usually don't throw a lot of stuff away nowadays because I've gotten to the point where I kind of know what I'm looking for. I know what'll sell. The only times I'll throw stuff away is if it's uh, like damaged or maybe it has a flaw or something like that because sometimes it's just not worth it. So uh, I mean, I really don't throw stuff away anymore, but I will start to slowly bring the price down every month to get it out. Brent McLean, check out Rakin's rap songs. Yeah, last night on uh, the Green Room, they had me going crazy in there. I was spitting freestyles and doing little raps. So check out the uh, the Green Room on the Bonafide Hustlers uh, YouTube channel. The one I did last night, we were crazy over there. But uh, I ended up telling everybody that when I was I was probably between the ages of believe it or not, 15 and like 20. 21 like I was in a weird little phase of my life where I was all about like rapping and doing music and believe it or not I was I was off the walls I was a crazy guy but uh I don't really do it anymore but Brent did leave a link to my uh, MySpace page where I've got some songs in there so you could check that out Kyle Kenyon we going to get a freestyle here too oh man I don't I don't know if there's any more freestyles left in me I got lucky last night I might stutter it's my whatever. Finally got into YouTube. Finally got into my YouTube account after being locked out for months. I can finally watch and comment. Really? What happened? Let me know what happened. Did you? Uh, did somebody report you, or did you? Did you do something that you weren't supposed to do? Michael Bomberger. Thanks. The comments are going down. Thanks, Steve. And that was on the Toadcast. All right, now I remember the Toadcast. I got confused, but yeah, Michael, I'm glad you're here. Catherine, have. Haviland, just bought it tonight. Can't wait to get into it. Awesome. I cannot wait for you to uh, let me know if you make some money with it. There's a lot of information in there. Definitely check out those um, check out those exclusive interviews tonight. There's, uh, there's, a, there's a few of them in there that will get you really pumped up and motivated. And uh, I don't know. It's just like I love interviews just in general. I wish more people did them because I feel like you gain so much more information when you're listening to somebody who has kind of been around the block before and they can tell you the ins and outs, what works, what hasn't, their learning experiences, their little tricks of the trade. And uh, I'll tell you right now, those exclusive interviews in the Blazing Profits program, some of them uh, will blow your mind. And uh, I got one guy in there who he's doing between, I think he's doing between seven and $9,000 a month uh, clothing on eBay. Another, another girl, she's doing somewhat similar. Another guy with an exclusive interview, and I'm not going to spoil it. I'm kind of keeping it a secret until you buy the program. You'll find out who the interviews are, uh, who's on them. But um, another guy, I think he's got almost a thousand in, in inventory in his store, and uh, 
another another girl. She she's been selling for like almost ten years. So a lot of good interviews right there. All right, Michael, I'll be buying Blazing Profits as soon as I make another good eBay sale. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Radical rant here. I'm glad you're here. All right, let's go back into the uh, the items that have sold and uh, kind of talk about some more sport coats so you can pay your car payment. <laughs> and I kind of just joke when I when I say that. I mean, um, I don't know if you've got like a Mercedes or something. Maybe you won't be able to pay your car payment if it's like seven hundred bucks a month. But uh, maybe you'll have to start selling some suits, or maybe you'll have to start selling some uh, blazers or some uh, you know vintage shirts or whatnot. But I tell you right now, there are items out there that can make you a lot of money. That if you sell four, five, six, or seven, that little you could definitely pay your car payment. And especially with suits, a lot of those suits you could buy them for five to twenty bucks and sell them for a hundred to hundred fifty or even upwards to three or four hundred dollars if you get super lucky and you can pay your car payment bada bing bada boom with one shot but most of the time you're gonna be making uh, from my experience a lot of these items sell for forty fifty sixty bucks that's kinda like the bread and butter and then when you kinda get a little more lucky you're up to the you know seventy five to one twenty five mark and then the jackpots are like one twenty five plus but uh... in any event uh... this item in front of you is a banana republic plaid the uh, the style the design or it's like a I don't know what it is it's the Madra style and uh, it's kind of like little squares different colors really awesome uh, style right there I love the Madras items this is a uh, they, they say it's a blazer but it's not a blazer it's actually a sport coat it's size 40 long so the length is probably somewhere around 35 or 30 36 depending on how they measured it really nice item and I'm looking at it right there it says Mad Men collection Huh, I didn't even know that there was a, a Mad Men collection with uh, Banana Republic, but that's pretty interesting right there. It was selling for $84.99, and as you can see, there's a line through it, which means there was a best offer accepted. And if you want to see what that best offer was, you go down to the print button, you click that, and it sold for $75. So that's a little cha-ching right there. Not bad at all. I'll take that all day long. Sell a few of those, and you got your car payment paid right off. But a 75 bucks plus 580 to ship. I tell you right now, you can find this thing all day at your thrift store if you're lucky enough. But uh, I know Banana Republic; they sell them anywhere at my thrift store between 10 and 20 bucks. And if you get there on a half off day, you can get it between five and 10. So uh, definitely a very reasonable uh, price. And a lot of times, I, I highly suggest going to the thrift stores when you're focusing on blazer sports coats and suits, especially when you're new. Try to go on the half off days if you have them or 25% sales or anything like that because especially when you're new with anything you can be a car salesman you can be selling insurance you can be selling real estate you could be selling shorts you could be selling women's dresses anytime you're getting in something new you wanna try to uh, minimize your risk as much as possible so the best way to min minimize your risk is to get into these items very cheap with a very little uh, overhead just in case you make you make a big mistake or you buy a bunch of items that don't sell, you won't be you know breaking the bank. And I'll tell you right now, regardless if you buy my program or not, there's going to be a learning curve. You know there always is. It's you can read all the articles you want, watch all the videos, listen to all the podcasts, but you know how it is. You got to do it firsthand. You got to take action, and you're going to learn so much more. But uh, you know, definitely educating yourself along with action is like the secret recipe. But uh, this is Banana Republic's the brand, the Mad Men style. Best offer was accepted for 75 bucks. Madras style, 40 long, awesome item right there. Keep your eye out for Banana Republic. Some of this stuff is better than uh, others. Do a quick search in the sold listings. You'll see what I'm talking about. But a very nice brand. Even do really well lotting them together. Next item that sold is a brand that I had never heard of before this podcast or this live hangout. The brand is Eagle Clothing. And uh, let me show you the tag, Eagle University by Eagle Clothes, established 1919. So I have no clue how this brand does. Um, I do see that it sold for 75. It took a best offer of, let's see, $65. So it sold for $65, which is, which is an amazing uh, selling price. How would you folks like to have an average selling price of $65? I know I sure would. I think my average selling price is, I think I'm between 30 or 35 right now. 
But the, a lot of my uh, inventory is like button fronts and shirts. And over the last like three or four months, I've been really hitting the uh, blazer sports coats and suits hard, really hard. So my, I guarantee you within the next four or five months, I, I hope to have my average selling point up to the 40 to 50 mark. That's my goal. But, uh, you know, selling these items for a higher price definitely, you know, it, it benefits you because – not only do you have to work less, you have to ship. You don't have to ship as much. You don't have to, you know, take as many pictures. I mean, it just it keeps you stronger. It keeps you there in the game, you know. And you don't have to process as much stuff. So you really want to focus on the stuff that sells for a better price. But uh, the brand was Eagle Clothes, sixty-five bucks. It's on my list. Put it on your list. Check it out after this live hangout and see uh, what it's all about. But uh, you know, the design is awesome. The nice plaids and checks. The the color is great. Looks like it's a two-button style with some functional sleeves. The seller did a really nice job prepping it with the dress shirt and tie. Just an awesome item right there. Let's check out the uh, the listing. So they included the uh, the shoulder measurement, the sleeve, the chest, the length. Uh, I would have liked them to include the waist as well. A lot of buyers will ask you for the waist measurement. 100% cotton. Just a nice item right there. Next item that sold was a magnificent Paul Stewart. Doesn't look like a herringbone style. I don't know why they use that keyword. Oh, actually, it does. My bad. So it is a uh, it is a herringbone uh, pattern, and you can see it's kind of like the uh, the scales of a fish. I don't know if that's how you describe it, but um, that's the herringbone design right there. Really nice, uh, excellent selling point. Looks like it's a blend of silk and cashmere, which again is another great selling point. Paul Stewart, excellent brand. 189.95. That's a lot of buckaroos in your pocket right there. 38 short, so it is smaller. The pit to pit is probably somewhere around an 18 or a 19, if I was to guess. And here's the Mad Men suits again. These guys sell a lot of awesome stuff. Where's the measurements? Probably a 38. Okay, so it's a 40 chest, but it is a, a smaller item right there. Uh, but again, Mad Men suits, check them out if you haven't already. They are top rated plus seller. They sell a lot of awesome suits, and if you just Scan or sold listings. Check out their store. You're going to learn a lot of cool brands that uh, will pretty much blow your mind. But they do an excellent job. $189.95. Let me take a drink real quick. That was good. What is your favorite drink, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, what is your favorite drink? Put yourself in a situation right now. Let's say you've been listing for about two to three hours. Maybe it's 80, 85 degrees, it's hot, you're thirsty, you don't have a drink. You go down to the kitchen, what drink do you want to have? Do you want to have some Powerade, some Gatorade, some soda, an iced coffee? What's that? What's that? But uh, I don't know. I figured I'd throw that out there. Let me go to the comment section real quick, see what's going on, see what your favorite drink is. Golden Finger Picker, I know where our new car payment is coming from. Reselling. That's what I'm talking about. Golden Finger Picker, check him out on YouTube. Him and his wife, I believe. Um, I mean, they're just doing a terrific job. Awesome videos. I know they have a new... Uh, uh, a new community being built, the Pickers Church, with a few different people who are going to be doing live hangouts and whatnot. Just an awesome guy, awesome people. I mean, those are the type of people that I like to surround myself with, positive people in the reselling community that are putting out content and always helpful and resourceful. I mean, that's what I'm talking about right there. Bill Stoner, excellent tip right there. Bill, Bill says, when I have clothes that don't sell, I put them in lots. And that's definitely a really good technique. Bill also asked me how how's it going. Uh, things are going well, very well. Um, like I said to everybody, I just got finished with the Blazing Profits program, so I, I have been busy for the last few months. I wasn't able to put as much time into my eBay business as I would have liked to, but uh, it's over with now, and you know the, the program's been created, so I can spend a lot more time uh, on the eBay business, more time, uh, you know, maybe making some more YouTube videos and working on other stuff, but. You know, just today's a good day, you know. It's always a good day. Austin James says, how much do you pay for your storage unit? I have to leave my stuff at my father's since my mom smokes, and every time I sell anything, he knows, not to mention it's annoying going over there. Yeah, I hear you on that. Um, my storage unit costs 
It's uh, 149.99, and that includes I, I I believe it includes insurance. So I think I, I'm covered for like two or three thousand dollars if something goes wrong in there, and um, that's per month. It is 200 square feet. It also comes with a light. Uh, it's a pretty good price over here. A lot of a lot of the storage units uh, don't have a light. Also, it's um, what's the word? It's climate controlled, so it's inside, which you're going to pay more for inside versus outdoors. So it's climate controlled. It's got a light. Uh, it's insured up to a few thousand dollars or something like that, and it's about 150 bucks a month. So uh, definitely some good, a good amount of space. I could probably fit if I was to guess. I think what do I have in my inventory right now? I think I have 600 things in my inventory, and I think I could fit probably 1,200 in the 200 square foot space, and that's on uh, these little Z-bar clothing racks. So, uh, yeah, definitely check it out. You know, it's only about five minutes away from my house, so it makes it convenient. But if you do have to drive, like if I had to drive 15 or 20 minutes to a storage unit, I probably wouldn't do it, and I'd find something to work at my house. But uh, you know, it's a price you got to. Hey, if you want to grow your business, you got to have the space and you know be able to be organized. So it's really up to you. Good question, though. Let me uh, put the comments to the newest first. It's my whatever. Sweet sweet tea, Southern style sweet tea. I used to work at the Crackle Barrel, and they used to have some amazing uh, sweet tea over there. And you're right, it really does quench your thirst. Michael Bomberger says, favorite drink, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, Dr. Pepper is awesome. Wow, you guys have some awesome drinks you're talking about. Kool-Aid, Louis the Seller says, ice cold Kool-Aid. Oh, my gosh, I'm so thirsty right now for some Kool-Aid. Picking Las Vegas. Ah, you changed your name, I see, Alex. Uh, nice bottle of Gatorade. Yeah, we in the same boat. You got the Gatorade. I got the Powerade. Sister Picker, a nice cold Pepsi. There's nothing like that. A little bit of a caffeine boost as well, right? Hot Halloween props, ice cold, sweet tea. Awesome. So we got Hot Halloween props and uh, uh, It's My Whatever, both rocking the sweet tea. <laughs> Nelly Chess, uh, gin and tonic. Okay, so I see how you get your listings done. Savvy Scavenger, Terrapin Beer. I don't even know what that is. Or White Chocolate Mocha. Okay, I see how you roll. So we got uh, Kat Katiana's Treasures, if I pronounce that right, I apologize. I'm so horrible at pronouncing things. Sweet Tea. So we got a lot of people that like Sweet Tea. Oh, here we go. We got uh, Holland Hobbies, that great Kool-Aid. Prime Fine says, by the way, I did music for 10 years and was signed to an independent label. So we got a cipher when you come down to Miami a ASAP. Man, that would be pretty cool. I mean, I I could probably hold it down a little bit. You know, my vocabulary is not really sophisticated anymore, um, or maybe it probably never was. But uh, you know how it is with freestyle. And the more you write, the easier it is to freestyle. And I haven't written, uh, you know, rhymes and st music like that in, in years. But uh, yeah, that would be cool, man. I, I might be in Miami or in Florida in a few months. I'm going to be visiting my grandparents out in Boynton Beach, and. Uh, I'll probably hit up Miami because it's awesome over there, but uh, we'll stay in touch. Justin Starcher sold a pair of Kooji jeans and Under Armour camo hat snapback today. Awesome right there. I picked up some uh, Kooji jeans the other day, brand new with tags. I think I paid 8 bucks, a little more than I wanted to, maybe 10 which is kind of pushing the limit on those. But it had a really crazy design, and it was brand new with tags, so I'm going to shoot for like 30 or 40 But But uh, awesome job right there, Justin. And here we go. Savvy Scavenger also find... Found a Kooji brand, a sweater to sell. Love those. Golden Picker says, always, Golden Finger Picker, always looking to improve our sales, higher goals each month, and it gets easier. That's the thing. You know, you got to have those goals. Michael Bomberger, I picked up a couple of Banana Republic Mad Men shirts. They go for around 20 bucks on eBay. So it looks like the Mad Men style um, in terms of Banana Republic is pretty popular. So, folks, definitely look out for that. Mad Men's Banana Republic. Hot Halloween props. My daughter is about to start college in two months. I need to sell a lot of stuff. What's the difference between a blazer and a sport coat? Uh, I can't spoil the surprise. That's the first chapter in the uh, the Blazing Profits program. But uh, <laughs> shoot me a private message. I'll talk about it. Uh, right. It's my whatever. Uh, I used to make videos and stop, so I didn't log in for a while. Then couldn't remember my password or email address. I used blah, blah, blah. I finally got back in. To watch videos. Okay, so they lock you out, I guess, after a while.
So, Katiana's treasures, do you have a lot of items you have to list constantly, or do you list pretty much immediately? Um, trying to figure out what you mean. Do you have a lot of items you have to list constantly? Well, pretty much, I, I always have, like, a overflow of inventory that hasn't been listed. Um, you know, I drop off my clothes over at my employees a few times a week, and, uh, you know, they take, he takes the pictures and fills out the template, and then I get it back and list it up, and then the cycle just repeats and repeats, but I always have, you know, a little more inventory, uh, overflow, just because you don't want to be dry just in case, but uh, I'm usually listing, lately I've been listing like 50 a week, but I like to be around the 100 a week uh, plus. Chris, Chris Carone, Sarone, hot, hey Steve, planning on looking at the 99 suits over the weekend, if get, if get the wife to go with me. Yeah, you should definitely check it out, there's some opportunities there. Are you and Global Voodoo battling out right now? You both release the same kind of suit selling info. No, Global Voodoo is my man. I mean, uh, you know, it's the free market. Everybody's got the right to do what they want to do. You know, if you guys want to <laughs> make a suit program, do it. If you want to make a bike program, do it. It's the free market. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, Global Voodoo is a good guy. We've been friends for a while. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot of knowledge, a lot of information. You know, I definitely look up to him. So he's he's doing a great job. Check him out on YouTube. Bill Stoner, when I have clothes that don't sell, put it in lots. I already mentioned that. And Vic, I've been stocking up on suits and blazers. Funny, but after a while, you can feel quality. Touched a suit the other day with a, I can't pronounce this, Jeeves and Hawk label, which is a good brand. Never heard of it, but it felt really good. It's a London brand. Um, I am so much faster going through the racks now. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, once you get a little more experience under your under your, uh, under your your belts and you've, you've been selling clothes for a while, a lot of times when you're scanning through those clothing racks and you're, you're kind of touching each one, looking at the, the label, Sometimes you won't notice a label, but your 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 finger fingers will feel like a high quality material, and you kind of just stop dead in your tracks. And you're like, wait a second, this fear this feels high quality. This feels like some of those London brands that sell for some really good profit. And you kind of pull out your phone and you check it out. But um, I think the same exact thing that happened to you happened to me with that same brand, Jeeves and Hawk, because I didn't rec I didn't know that brand probably up until maybe six months ago and I, you know, I was going through clothes for a year just skipping it and then eventually I'm like wait a second this feels high quality but it's pretty crazy but um, let's go back into the uh, sold listings I got one more item I'm going to share with you then I'll go back into the comments and uh, say what up to some more people and answer some questions but uh, last brand I want to talk about is a brand called let's see if I can pronounce this right Bach Rock <laughs> I am so bad, right? I, I write a, I write a clothing guide. I've, I've got a few clothing books, but I can't pronounce the brands correctly. There's something sketchy about me. I have no clue how I don't know how to pronounce these, but I'm just like slow in some aspects. Bach Rock or Batch Ratch, who knows, you guys. If you, if you know what the brand looks like, you know how to read it. That's really all, all that's important. But uh, hopefully over time I'll learn how to pronounce these things. But uh, 6450, awesome item right there. Look at the, uh, the, the design and the pattern. Really nice. Looks like it's a three-button style. Three or four, I can't really see all the way down. Let's see. Three-button style, uh, nice design, cool color. Uh, 44 regular, which is a pretty average size. Silk and wool, so it is a blend. I love having that silk blend in these sports coats. And uh, it yielded $64.50, $9.95 shipping on top of that. Delivery, estimated within four business days. Boo. Come on, guys. you got to do that one-day shipping. People love that. Um, you know, if you Obviously, if you know that you're not going to be able to do it, and ship within a day, then yeah, you know, do two or th two days at most. But uh, you know, I, if you want to be getting those sales, keep it one or two days shipping. The one day is going to allow you to get that top rated seller. It's part of the criteria, I believe. But uh, try to do it one or two days. Four days, I mean, I don't know. Um, maybe it doesn't play that big of a role. But I think that people, you know, how we are. We're in a we're in a civilization now. We're in a age of we're in this place where people want stuff now. And when they order it, boom, they want it the next day. You know how Amazon is and everybody. It's like it's all going towards that super fast shipping. So uh, try to try to keep your shipping one or two days. But still, you know, it looks like they know what they're doing. Over 2,000 feedback. 64.50 they yielded. Pick this thing up for three or four bucks. Let's go through some pictures. Look at the tie they used. Very nice. I mean, even the pictures, I mean, aren't the best. This is all slanted sideways and... But still, I mean, sometimes you don't you don't have to have the best pictures if you have a nice item and you know you have a a good description, you got the measurements and whatnot, then maybe it'll work out for you. 
You never know. Sometimes you get lucky, really. Check out some of the sold listings. You'll see these pictures. Excuse me. You'll see some of these pictures, and you'll be like, how did this thing sell? And they just got lucky, or maybe it was a really good brand, or you know, the right person just so happened to come along. But still, 64.50. So uh, we went over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brands. Just to do a quick recap, if you guys are just coming in, we uh, took a look at the brand Caruso that sold for 265. Another brand named Pronti, which I had never heard of before, but if you see these pictures, the design was amazing. That yielded 59.99. Next item that we looked at was a brand called Pierre Cardin, which is a brand that seems to be all over the place but uh, again I spoke about how some items within a brand could do well and others don't sometimes it's luck sometimes it's taking a good picture sometimes it's being in the right place at the right time you know get those items listed up you know that's the beauty with blazers sports coats and suits I mean sometimes you just get lucky and you bring in some serious profits you know on the lower end items and the brands that aren't super high end but uh, I mean, like I said, these are the types of items you want to be selling because those are these. This is how you're gonna bring in that money, the good profits that make it worth your time. And really, you don't have to sell these things full out. Just have it part of part of your arsenal. You know, be selling your button fronts, sell your antiques, sell your video games, but also try to concentrate on the suits a little bit, the blazers, the sport coats. Know what to find. Know the hot stuff. Know the brands that are in uh, demand. The styles that are unique. The stuff that people want. So when you could, when you go to a thrift store, when you don't find anything, maybe in antiques, or maybe you only find a few uh, electronics, you could scan through the clothing racks, and more specifically, the bigger items like the blazers, sports coats, and suits, and find a few things that could bring you in. You know, ten times your money and twenty times your money. You know, you're not going to get lucky every time, and sometimes these items are slow to sell or they don't sell. But most of the time, when they sell, they bring in a good profit. Next item we talked about was Banana Republic. The style was Mad Men, and a few people were shouting out that they were selling this item as well in button fronts, usually selling for about 20 That sold for 75 I think. Another item we went over was the brand Eagle University by Eagle Clothes. I mentioned that I wasn't sure about this brand. I was going to need to do some more research, but it did sell for 65 Then we looked at an amazing sport coat. An awesome high-end brand called Paul Stewart had a herringbone style. Check that out. That's what the herringbone style looks like, and it sold for one eighty-nine ninety-five. And it was a thirty-eight small or a thirty-eight short. Beg my pardon. Um, I can't even talk right now. Thirty-eight small, but um, it still sold for some good money. And then we went over a brand called Bach Rock or Batch Ratch, whatever. You guys know I can't talk. Sixty-four fifty plus ten dollars to ship. So uh, hopefully you learned a few things about sport coats. If you guys are interested in learning more about this type of stuff, check out my program, Blazing Profits, the ultimate guide to making money selling blazers, sports coats, and suits. And it is more than just a um, excuse me for one second. It is more than just a uh, book or a guide. It is all a digital file, which means when you click I want this to purchase it, you put in your credit card, and when you buy it, it's going to give you a download link with not only a 274-page ebook, but it's also going to give you instantly 14 bonus training videos that are going to touch on little things that you need to know when you're selling these items, little tricks of the trade and little bonus tips and whatnot, a cheat sheet of 99 brands to buy and sell, which, as you know, is so helpful kind of like with the 101 Killer Clothing brand, you can load it right up to your phone, bring it to the thrift store. If you're unsure about a brand or maybe you don't have the best internet service, just pull up the PDF and check to see if the brand's on the list. And uh, So that's a 99 brand uh, buy and sell list right there. Two bonus templates, a Word and a PowerPoint, and these things are going to help you to grow your business. I'm, I'm going to hold that secret in right now, but when you buy the program, check it out. There's some cool little things in there that will help you out. And one of my favorite parts of the uh, training programs, and this is a favorite part that I've noticed a lot of people have been talking about. They messaged me and said, man, thanks so much for the interviews. I can't believe you got an interview with her. I can't believe you got an interview with him. Where has she been? And uh, the interviews are really crazy because you can model people's success. You hear the tricks of the trade. You see what's working for them. They talk about you know the successes, the failures, what they did to overcome the roadblocks. You know, They talk about brands and certain items. And I tell you right now, the interviews are probably one of the most valuable things in this um, program if you were to look at it from like a bird's eye view just because I tell you right now you do not have to reinvent the wheel people have done this before and if you just model success it's like what Tony Robbins says you don't you don't have to make the whole thing up on your own just model success see what someone's doing copy what they're doing I mean not identically but you know 
copy some of the action steps that they're taking that they've taken to, to get to where they are and you know just kind of mimic it and that's really what it's all about that's why the interviews are so valuable and then there's a few additional resources articles and videos that you know have helped me in the past to uh, make more money with clothing so uh just want to give you a short little uh, overview of the Blazing Profits program. It is available for sale. If you guys are interested in checking it out, there's a link in the comment section. Also, you could just um, you could go to my Facebook or just check out the comment section. You could find it. This this um, links all over in my videos and whatnot. But uh, I want to shout some more people out. I don't want to waste too much time on that right now. I want to answer some questions and really help you folks out. I'm gonna refresh the comments real quick. Shout you out. Say what up. Answer some questions and see what's going on in the comments Resources, section. Resources, articles, and videos that. Sorry about that. And again, again, I just want to remind you, folks. Looks like we have 42 people watching right now. If you like the videos, hit that thumbs up. It uh, you know, it makes me feel good. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos and that I'm not wasting my time because I really want to make sure that I'm helping you out and uh, you know, giving you valuable information that could help you to make more money. That's really what it's all about. And you know, a lot of you folks have helped me out. You keep me leveraged. You keep me, you know, you keep my head on the prize. So I always want to give back to you, like you were given to me. So um, let's answer some more questions. See what's going on in here. Secondhand profit coach, thumbs up on the program. I'm really digging it. Well written and put together. I'm looking forward to putting it to the test. Well, thank you very much, uh, profit coach. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, you know, it's really. It's really imperative that you put it to the test. You've got to take action. You've got to get through the struggles. I mean, things are going to go wrong. Certain things aren't going to sell. But if you stick with it and you follow the principles outlined within the program and you consistently educate yourself and keep going on and on and you know pushing forward, it's going to work for you. No pro program is going to be the magic potion. You know, if you buy my program and you you listen to all the interviews and you read the 275 page book and you go through the bonus videos and everything and you don't do anything with it you're not going to make any money and if you do take some action but only do it for a week or two and you stop you're not going to make any money you've got to be persistent consistent you've got to be uh, you know uh, the type of person who goes for it and takes it and, and doesn't quit so um, I appreciate that coach we got Nelly Chess Sport coats and suits have many possible flaw areas, so one has to be very careful, and then still often not enough. I'd say out of eight or nine, I, I buy something there's something wrong. Um, now I agree with you. I, from my experience, it's probably been three out of ten have something wrong with it. Um, that is one of the bonus videos in the program. I talk about probably about eight or nine different places that I've I see flaws all the time, but uh, Nelly, you are right. There are a lot of flaws. Um, you just you have to be careful. But if you educate yourself on the the places that are most prone to have flaws, then you can usually um, you know get away with it. Is it easy to sell a wool blazer at the start of summer? Well, obviously, you know in the summer, um, you know there's always a bottom line. There's always a market, especially if you offer um, you know international. But I say blazers probably sell. They sell good. All year, all year um, around, you know, some schools, you know, they make it so you have to wear the blazers. Uh, you know, a lot of people that are boating and yachting and stuff of that nature, they wear it. So, I mean, there's really a market all year around. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, the sport coats definitely sell better during the fall time because they are thicker and whatnot. You're not going to be wearing sport coats in the summertime. But um, it really depends how you're selling it. But there really is a market for these things all year around, from my experience. Holland Hobbies, I know that you like Hart, Schaffner, and Marks, and I see a ton of their suits. What do you specifically like and look for in that, br <clears throat> look for in that brand? Excuse me, I need to take a drink. What features in that brand make you pop on it? I would go broke if I bought every Hart, Schaffner, and Marks suit that I saw. Um, I'm not going to give away all the secrets because I, I really don't want to ruin the surprise for the, the training program. But I'll tell you right now, one popular selling point to look for in terms of the Hart, Schaffner, and Marks brand are the gold buttons. The gold button blazers do super well. Also, the uh, I found that the navy blue suits with the pinstripes do really well also. And if you can find like a Hart, Schaffner, and Marks that was made by Nordstrom or something like that, or even... Um, like Neiman and Marcus, those things can do extremely well. Uh, 
Austin James, as you do eBay full-time now, do you see the financial success you saw working? More or less, I'm trying to make enough money to be full-time, though I'm having uh, trouble getting that bankroll. Um, yeah, I mean, it's working. You know, you get what you put into it. It's kind of like one of those machines where if you don't put money in, you're not going to get money out. Or if you don't put effort in, you're not going to get results. So the more you put in, the more you're really going to get out of it. It's really up to you. Um, but, yeah, I see the future being very bright. And you can definitely do it. CT represent. Picking Las Vegas. Alex says, I have a question, Steve. Now since so many people are going to get into blazers and sport coats because of blazing profits, do you think it's going to bring down the price per item on the sport coat and blazers? Um, I, you know, I highly doubt it because you want to know something right now, and I, I guarantee you folks would agree with me. Most people who buy programs, most people who spend their money on stuff or you know, they, 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 they buy something to educate themselves, they don't take action. They really don't, and it's really sad. And that's been me before in the past, too. A lot of people, they, you know, it's easy to sit down and read a book, and you know, you're at your computer, and you're passively listening to an interview, or you know, you're scanning the sold listings. That's easy. But getting up day in and day out, and working, and hustling, and dealing with the struggles, and you know, dealing with defeat and having to get back up and get back up again and learning. People don't do that. They really don't. And in general, I mean, even look at the real estate courses and all the programs out there, all the books. There's so much book. We're in the information age right now, Alex. All this information is out there. And anything you want to do in life, it's out there. It's easily accessible. Google. The point I'm trying to make is, guys, this information is out there. I mean, it'll take time to get. So obviously, I think what Alex is saying is you're putting all this information in one centralized spot, so it's going to make it easier for people. And you know, I, I that that that's a good point right there. But again, most people they they don't they don't you know they don't put in the effort that it takes to really succeed. But you know, it could have a little effect, a tiny bit. But how many people are out there? Let's just say a thousand people buy it. You know, let's just say a thousand people buy the guide over a few year period. Um, that's only a thousand people. How many people are buying these types of items? And out of those a thousand people, how many are really going to stick with it? Maybe a hundred, maybe, probably fifty or thirty, if that. So I doubt it'll really have uh, that much of a play. And if it does, there's so many types of items out there, guys. So many items. You really, I, I wouldn't worry about it at all. If I was that worried about it, I definitely would not uh, put out the program because I'm not going to be making millions of dollars off of it. Justin, did you have a damn why did I do that today? I have no clue what you're talking about. Finn's fan, found a rail floor and pull university blazer missing one gold button on the wrist. Should I rip one of the buttons off the other wrist so they match? Uh, I would just avoid it. I wouldn't mess with it. There's so many other items out there. I would pass on it. Mass Picker found three button-up Brooks Bros shirts, all extra large, thinking about selling as a lot for a quick flip. Suggestions or comments? Yeah, I mean, you can put them all together, uh, maybe for like anywhere between $59.99 or $69.99. Buy it now, best offer. Uh, I've done it before. Brooks Brothers seems to do well in lots. I've done it. Uh, Mark K. sold a Columbia winter jacket today to someone living in Miami. Yeah, so... You never know. I mean, <laughs> you could sell a wool blazer to somebody in Hawaii. I mean, you never really know. It's uh, it's the beauty of the internet. Bill Stoner, good suggestion right here. Bill says, uh, for people that have the room, they should buy a shed. Most places don't charge interest, and the prices are reason reasonable about the same as renting a unit. And it is so much more convenient than having to drive the inventory. They come in all sizes up to 14 by 20. Yeah, so that's definitely a good suggestion right there. <laughs> Infinity Profits, you're going to bust out a rhyme for us tonight. I watched your freestyle. If you guys want to see my freestyle, go check out the green room uh, hangout last night on the Bonafide Hustlers channel, but I don't know if I got a freestyle in me tonight. Maybe uh, maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Uh, <laughs> Infinity Profits, but uh, I don't know. Purple Drank. All right, so that's what Mass Picker's all about. Michael Bomberger says, I used to work at the Crack Barrel, too. Yeah, that place is a madhouse, especially uh, especially on Sunday mornings. Oh, my gosh, that place is crazy. Infinity Profit says, I've had a lot of success selling digital cameras. Have you sold cameras, and if so, which brands? Um, I've sold a few ca cameras. I mean, nothing off the top of the head, uh, just some random stuff. I'm not really that, that much of an expert in that area.
Raken, Louis the Seller says, Raken, if you come across clothing that you didn't research but like the design, do you buy it or walk away? Um, well, the first thing I would do is do some research. If you didn't research but like the design, would you buy or walk away? Well, I guess it really depends. There's been times where I've bought items that I couldn't find any sold listings or um, you know, I couldn't see anybody that has sold it in the past. And I was just like, you know what, this thing is high quality and someone will definitely buy it. So I'll pull the trigger. It really depends how much they're charging for it. Um, it's really all about a calculated risk right there. But I've done it before. Joe Ab Falter says, My thrift stores have been all over the place in pricing as of late. Yesterday I was at the store and Stafford Blazers were $14.99, but the Yegna or Zegna I got was $3.99 and the Yves Saint Laurent, L Laurent, I can't pronounce it, I got for $4.99. Both items in better shape. Yeah, the thrift stores, they're weird sometimes. There's, you know, there's a lot of different people working there. The turnover rate's high. It really depends who's in back, who's pricing it, if the boss is watching very closely because I do know, um, you know if the boss isn't watching, they'll do whatever they can to just bust the inventory out the door without doing much research. So um, that's one of the keys to finding a lot of these items. you got to find the ones that fall through the cracks, and uh, it looks like you, you found a few that, that fell through the cracks. All right, so I'm going to update the comments one more time, but I'm going to be heading out of here pretty soon. i got to get a bite to eat. I'm starting to lose my voice. Looks like we still have 39 people in the house, I believe. Let's check it out. How many people we got here? 38 viewers. Awesome. <clears throat> Appreciate all the likes. We got Tori out the door without 28 likes. So it, it sounds like you know people are enjoying this video. They they like these live hangouts. They like educating themselves and uh, hearing me yap away at the mouth. But uh, <laughs> if you want me to shut up, just tell me in the comments. Say Steve, shut up, get off already. But uh, all jokes aside, you know I had a good time tonight. It was fun. I enjoyed going through some sport coats that sold, and uh, you know I enjoyed making the title. Pay your car payment every month selling sport coats because uh, you know honestly you really could if you you put in the work, if you put in the effort. If you educate yourself through, it could be my program, it could be through other videos, it could be through you know hours and hours of going through the sold listings, it could be listening to interviews, it could be talking to others who have you know been in the business and modeling success. At the end of the day, you guys could do it. You could make some really good money selling sport coats, suits, blazers, clothing, antiques, electronics, sporting equipment, anything out there. There's a lot of opportunities. And uh, you know the money's out there for the taking. It's just a matter of how much you want to educate yourself and how hard you want to work. So uh, again, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If uh, you know if you want to see more of them or you have any ideas for future videos, leave a suggestion in the comment section. But uh, I'm gonna be heading out of here one last time. Just want to let you guys know the Blazing Profits training program is officially available. Have gotten quite a few comments already from people who purchased it saying, Steve, you really over delivered this this program could have easily went for 99 bucks or 129 or more and uh, they, they really appreciated it and I'll tell you right now from the bottom of my heart guys I put a lot of effort into this program it probably took me a good three or four months to bang this program out I mean it was a 275 page book bonus videos interviews each 30 minutes each uh, templates cheat sheet brands additional resources it really is a complete program that could you know take your clothing game to the next level and it's really a matter of how much you want to invest in yourself if you really want to make some more money if you're really committed and you're willing to do whatever it takes to succeed then educating yourself and investing in your education is going to be one of the keys to your success you know if if you don't really Think that you can do it, and you you feel like you're gonna quit, and you're not really that motivated, and your reasons for you know wanting to succeed and make money in this business aren't very strong. Then I tell you right now, don't waste your money on the program. Do your own research and see if it works for you, and then maybe once you start to get a grip of this business and you gain more confidence, you really say to yourself, "Wow, I can make money in this business." You know, these people on YouTube were all showing their numbers and their sales, and they're making money. I can do it too. They're nothing special, which we aren't. The people on YouTube, me, I'm just an average Joe, just like you guys. There's tons of people out there who know a lot more than me, who sell a lot more than me, that are a lot more educated than me, but you know, I just like to give back. I enjoy giving. I love sharing my journey as a reseller and you know, helping others. That's really what it's all about. So if this is a fit for you and you're confident and you're ready to really step up your game, check out Blazing Profits. It's an awesome program. It's all an e-file. 
download it, sent it. It'll get sent right to you. It'll be in your archives of your email, and uh, it's it's just you know it's an excellent resource. So again, I appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone has a great night. Keep on picking and making that money, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.